I usually avoid clicking on links from companies that send me their articles, but I felt compelled to click on this one because it's by a large one that I'm familiar with. If you're familiar with the fitness and nutrition tracking app, MyFitnessPal, you might know they have articles to help you reach your fitness and health goals. Well, the one that they sent to my inbox is one covering the bad habits that everyone makes that affects their metabolism, thereby presumably reducing their ability to lose weight. Okay, well, fair enough. So with my background in metabolism and having read many studies on the topic, let's hold their feet to the fire and see how much of this is fact and how much of it is bunk. Bad habit number one, skipping breakfast. They mentioned that eating a nutritious breakfast is a great way to start your day because your metabolism slows while you sleep and eating can fire it back up. Okay, so there's a lot wrong here. While you sleep, your physical activity is obviously at an all-time low, and while your body is unconsciously active as it clears out metabolites, also known as toxins, as well as other molecules that build up over the day, along with many repair and growth processes, way too much to cover here, your metabolism does decline some as you sleep, but that decline doesn't persist after you wake up. Your metabolic rate, or the amount of energy your body requires to fuel itself, is not fickle and stays stable, even if you fast the entire morning, skipping breakfast. I'd also add that the consumption of breakfast means you will be consuming hundreds of calories. So unless the writer of this article thinks your metabolism boosts by hundreds of calories after breakfast... It seems counterintuitive to think that eating breakfast might help with weight loss in this isolated context. Overall, I wouldn't worry about your metabolism if you skip breakfast. Nothing drastic will happen, and pushing your first meal of the day to later can encourage less food intake, thereby promoting weight loss. So this one is bunk. Bad habit number two, eating the wrong breakfast. Here, they mention that consuming a carbohydrate-rich meal might lead to energy crash later, so it's preferable to consume protein of some sort. So there's a good amount of truth here, but not completely correct. Consuming carbohydrates alone for breakfast could lead to you getting hungrier again sooner. But if you consume fats or proteins with that meal, the glycemic index, or the rate of absorption of these carbohydrates, is drastically altered, meaning the energy crash worry becomes less of an issue. However, focusing more on proteins and fats in the morning is a good way to maintain satiety overall. But if you add a few carbohydrates, feel free. It won't be an issue. We'll label this one as truth. Okay, so bad habit number three, sitting too much. Sitting too long puts your body in energy conservation mode, and this is thought to lower metabolism. I like the bad habit itself by title, but the explanation is incorrect. Sitting too much does not put your body in energy conservation mode. That mode, if you want to call it that, uh, is dictated by a series of hormones, and they won't be affected by your sitting habits. However, metabolism as a whole can be affected by sitting too much, but for much simpler reasons. Since metabolism is significantly made up of physical activity, the less physically active you are, the lower your energy needs. Therefore, your metabolism rate lowers. It's really not rocket science on this one. It's just ultra simple metabolism science. I'll call the title truth and the explanation bunk. Bad habit number four, neglecting strength training. The author mentions that cardio is great for burning calories, but the calories burned returns back to normal after the exercise while resistance training and HIT or high intensity interval training, there is an added calorie burn after exercise. They also mention that muscle burns added calories. So there's a lot of truth here, but I need to temper some of the expectations. The idea that resistance training and HIT leads to significant calorie burn after the exercise is something that's simply not true. The added calorie burn is in the tens of calories. So while you can go ahead and eat an extra gummy, you, <laughs> you won't be shedding all the weight as you strut around the gym after your extra ultra mega intense workout. So calm down. However, 
It is true that the added muscle does lead to increased calorie expenditure, around 6 calories per pound, or 450 grams, of muscle added. So what's cool is that the added muscle doesn't need exercise to offer that caloric benefit. Simply by existence, it will increase basal metabolism. So let's go with truth on this one. Bad habit number five, not getting enough protein. So protein feeds your muscles, increases satiety, and is important to sustain healthy weight. Protein also requires more energy to break down compared to carbohydrates and fats. So I have nothing to add. They nailed it on this one. So truth. Bad habit number six, not drinking enough water. Here, the MyFitnessPal author mentions a study that looked at water consumption and its effect on metabolism. The writer mentions that drinking half a liter of water boosts metabolism by 30%, and they mention this increase persists for over an hour. Okay, that sounds pretty impressive, but it's misleading. Water does increase metabolism, but not much, even if it sounds like a lot when you hear 30%. They did mention that it lasts for over an hour, which I'm glad they did, but still equates to an, a small absolute amount. So funny enough, the researchers of the study mentioned the absolute amount, but it's far less exciting than 30% increase since the number is only 100 kilojoules, which equates to around 24 calories. So unless you plan on consuming two and a half liters of water every day to gain about 100 calories a day, which is entirely doable, but not advisable for everyone, I wouldn't buy into this too much. Oh, but on a bright note, maybe the fact that you have to get up from your extended sits to go to the bathroom every hour might increase your physical activity and therefore your metabolism. So, you know what? Drink away. Let's call this truth, but just curb your expectations. Up to now, we've covered six of these bad habits that destroy your metabolism, but there are six more. So, if you feel you've learned a little something here, hop on over to part two and let's continue this party, or if you just want to keep me company. I'll speak to you then. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.